practice I'm sure it often. I don't think much of it's coming back out this way. Ooh. That may be too much. No, no it's not not no, too much yet. Not too much. Oh, is that exciting? <laughs> we have lift. Almost. Well, sure. Yeah. We, oh, that's right. We're gonna we're gonna see a point to an angle, right? Sure. Okay. Fifty-one sixty, and then we're looking for thirty-nine fifty-six. Supposed to hook on. It's not lifting enough to hook, so I'm letting it just rest. Okay. So we got we're down to 39, so we need this many more. <laughs> the fact that it's not lifting off the table. Yep. Oh, it's got lift now. It does. You want to hook it over then? Yeah, I had to put it in. Okay, we're at 49.50 or so. So what do we got to get to? 36? 39.56. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a tendency, Tony Jake goes really, really slow when he's in control. And when I'm in control, it's like, turn it up. It's pedaled to the metal. <laughs> you want to hold it? Yeah. <laughs> Your calibrated fingers. One way down, it's not. Uh, about forty-seven, uh, forty-eight-ish. How much did we come down? Like uh, one gram. One gram, and we need to go down another twelve. Sounded like it was. Oh boy, I can feel a lot of lift right now. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's going to take a bit to. Okay, air compressor, why did you go off? Huh. 44 ish. 4,394. Pretty close. Yep. Yeah. Can you get it? Not much. Because it expands as it goes up with the outer air pressure. The rule of thumb apparently is it doubles in volume every 18,000 feet. Oh man. 
I saw that. <laughs> I see 3956. That's it. So, where did you want to get to? 3956, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're BSing me. Well, it was, now it's, st it's stable at 39, yeah? 3957. 3960. How did we do that? 3960. 39, it's about 3960. Okay, hydrogen's off. This is so exciting. <laughs> See, I'm not used to the balloon lifting. Mm -hmm. That was the difference. All right. Where we want to go is, I think we want to put one up here. Yep. And then, uh, let's see, one down here. Then we're going to fold this and tape and, yep. and uh, well, and put another seal across there, right? Yep. Okay. So, slip it through. Now you hold it where it belongs. It's on an angle, Jake. You know, I can't have it on an angle. Are you ready? This got turned. Yeah. Well, we, do we have a seal? I don't know. Should we do a... Uh... Sandwich bag thing on the side. I'm not sure what that means, but over, over the top. Seal it, yeah, over the top, or just over the side, or yeah, over the top probably. Yeah, I think that'll. that'll do it. This, believe it or not, was supposed to be on two. Uh -huh. Okay, another double check. <laughs> just reproduce what was there before. Okay. You agree? Yeah. Put this on either side of that. Oh, no. Did you want to seal it on the edges? Is that what you're owing about? Well, if I do that, then I can't get it over it. Right. I could do it and leave some flaps on the end. So you think we're just going to put it on one side? No. Put it on both sides? And I was going to go like that. Switch places. I don't put. Come on, man. It doesn't matter if it goes up a little bit. Oh, Jake. Hmm. Um, we haven't weighed this. Are you? I mean, this doesn't weigh much of anything. No, we're going to say it's about the same as where we were. We're going to say. Okay. I just wanted to give you a chance. We do have a backup balloon if we need it. Mm -hmm. Except it would take some time to deflate. I'm sorry, it's not straight. There it is. Okay, is that flat? Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Get your hand out of the way. Okay, it says it's done. Okay. Okay. You want to fold in up there, I think. The question is, do you think we have a good enough seal on our balloon itself? I don't know. I want, that's why I want to get another yeah. up there. Yeah. A little bit further in if you can. Okay, not much further than that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's off. That did, did not work. I guess it's just a little bit too much thick. There. Okay, we'll flip around to there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Tape mm -hmm. over the rest of it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, actually, how much lift it does have. <clears throat> you think we have so it? Are we going to cut this in the yeah. balloon itself? Yeah. <clears throat> I 
this point, I'd say the weak link in the system is going to be when it gets the full volume, is that seam going to hold? Okay. This goes over like this. Not sure. We're gonna do this first. <laughs> it just it just sunk yeah, in. I think that's best, don't you? <laughs> yep. Okay, let's start over here. Up there. Mm -hmm. As jacked up as it seems, it's probably gonna be the best one. <laughs> that's I think that's what he's saying. <laughs> yep. side. So we have extra um, plastic bag and mm -hmm. I think less sealing tape. Sounds good. That out. Let's go down the next out. Okay, cut that out. That's all that's good. How much lift did you lose, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> It's it's amazing. Yeah, that's it, wants to go. Okay, you see how tiny those um, swivels are. Yeah. Can you unplug this and set that on the floor? Don't don't grab. Okay, it's not hot. Okay. Just gonna have to set this. Where do you set want this it? Set down on the floor. Just anywhere. You want it down? Okay. Yeah. Close enough to the edge for your hook. Mm -hmm. It sounded like it did something. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can get through that. <clears throat> you want the uh, tarp oh, out on the ground? I was going to say yes. Okay. Well, you think we need it? Because I, I'd like you to hold the balloon. Uh huh. I'll hold my the payload. And. I'll hold the camera. Yeah. Hold the camera. <laughs> and then, uh, let me see the, you said it's kind of rough? Yeah. Definitely. It well, doesn't look it, but it's not a smooth grass. It's not that, that that's concerning. It's will the grass snag the antenna. Right. Uh. That's, that's the only thing. And, you know, I've seen some people go like this on the, on the bottom half of the dipole. Uh -huh. How about launch along the brick walk? Because we're too close to the, yeah, we're not. We don't want it banging into the building, and we don't have the trial building to launch. So, uh huh. <clears throat> I, like I said, I got a big tarp I can throw on the ground. We roll line out first. I think we roll it out first. Yeah. So, probably best to go to the other side of the tarp with it. Well, and then roll this way. I think we can hold. Mostly just the bottom part. I'm just thinking for the hookup. Yeah. And then you move over and we let the balloon up. Alright. Oh. Yes, now we get serious. Good four miles an hour. Okay, theoretically, it should be prepping for transmit right now. Oh, yeah. for that as opposed to something like a kite reel is because if you drop it yeah. you know we'll have that extra weight to snap. I'm continually amazed how you can use telescopes in this besides Jake. Okay, I guess I'm gonna over here, then uh, what's yours? Watch your box. Okay. I was just going to double this around, and then you could have that, and then we'd let the balloon take it up. But that's up to you. Um, 
In fact, why don't you just walk around over there, Jake? Just do a U. What is that, like a nickel, Jake? Is that uh, what nickel they five grand. Yeah, <laughs> so two, nickel. two nickels for the whole payload that can be heard all around the earth. Well, you have to get it down first and then close it. Yeah. There. That looks hooked. So I've got about two and a half feet of leader line. Uh-huh. So in theory, Ted, we could probably walk it out. And then like I say, I'm going to grab the... Hold up, hold up. Were you gonna Were you gonna check to see if it was transmitting first? We were, but we don't have a radio that's working. It, it worked the last time I tried it. So. Right. Let's uh, as soon as you feel like, oh, like right now.